It's a mixed bag of tales for citizens and residents of Ebony State, South East Nigeria, as controversy through the activities of the state-run local security outfit, Ebu Biagu, barely one month after its inauguration by Governor Dave Umahi. And while the state government has called the Ebu Biagu security network high in its mandate of assisting security agencies and stemming the tide of insecurity in the state, the main opposition People's Democratic Party calls it a killer squad. This report looks at how the contending political interests ahead of 2023 general elections are weighing in on the security of the people of Ebony State. Viewers' discretion is required in parts of this report. The 2023 general elections in Nigeria may be about 12 months away, but the politics is already hitting up in Ebony State, South East Nigeria. The two major political parties, the ruling opposition Congress, APC, and the main opposition, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, are already daggers drawn. Many months before the political death is thought. The containing issues at the moment is the war of ways raging over the imagining security arising from alleged nefarious activities of the recently inaugurated Ibubago, a local security outfit run by the state government. My information is that Ibubago are usually trained by policemen. However, because an outfit that is just learning the rope. You don't expect perfection. The Bubago was officially launched about a month ago by the state governor Dave Omahe. But the controversy the outfit has generated is overshadowing its anticipated security impact. Our women in the farms. Critics quickly point at incidents of the past race at the Amata Akoha in Afiko North, in which two persons were reportedly killed by people suspected to be operatives of the local security outfit. Just days, another attack case in the council area where a youth was allegedly arrested and tortured to death by some persons said to be semi Zubago operatives. Oh, oh. The act case of killing had triggered a violent protest by irate youth of the community, even more deaths and destruction of properties. Members of the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP are accusing the APC led state government of using the local security outfit to harass, intimidate, and victimize residents with its members as a prime target. The governing APC is putting up a strong defense, insisting that the Ebubago has brought some security relief to the people, blaming the PDP of attempting to turn tragic situations in the state into an issue for politicking. Businesses in Abakaliki metropolis have closed down as the Ebubago boys constantly and consistently unleash terror on innocent traders and business persons. It is now commonplace to see a Bubago checkpoints on every nook and cranny of the Boeing State where the only thing they do is to harass and extort money from Keke operators and Okada riders. You go to the traders, go to the association of uh, landlords, Go to the market women, artisans, find out from the companies the scenario before the coming on board of the neighborhood which metamorphosed to Ibubago, how the state was and how the state is now. Calls are, however, coming in from several quarters asking the Boeing State government to have a rating on the activities of the Bubago Security Outfit. A group, the Development Association of the Boeing State, DAES, Lagos State, led by a security consultant, Police Aman Nachi, in a statement warned of the long-term negative consequences of turning the Boeing State into a killing field in the name of politics. The diaspora indigenous called for caution while appealing for peace to return to their troubled state. Kelechi Ekledo, Eratin News, Abakaliki.